Hey everybody! How's it going? Look at all of those leafies and one cool cat in the chat. Hi Meerkat, how are you? <laughs> happy Tuesday. So happy to be back again tonight. This is our, actually our third stream in a row. We streamed Sunday, we streamed Monday, and now we're back on this lovely Tuesday evening. Hello Euro, welcome on in. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. We are here to play some more Star Wars Jedi Survivor tonight. If y'all were here last night, then you'll know um, that we finally rescued Z from the remains of the Federation trade ship that the Raiders had now made their own base. And in doing so, we confronted the angsty, evil, one-armed, 300-year-old Jedi again. Um, and we beat him, well, I mean, we beat him, but uh, unfortunately he got away, so I have a feeling it's not going to be the last that we see of him. In better news, we found out that there is one compass that will lead us to Tantalor. One compass remaining, and apparently it is up on the moon. We were already on the moon once, we got to go back up on the moon today, and uh, hopefully we can recover it, and then we can actually start making our journey to, to Tantalor. I don't know for sure, but it feels like we're definitely getting in the end game. Not like close enough that we're going to beat it tonight, but I'm thinking next week we'll probably finish it up, which is perfect timing because after next week, I'm going to be taking a couple of weeks off for vacation. So the way things look to be shaping up, we should finish just in time. Tara! Oh, the bot didn't want to read your message. <laughs> I was just like waiting for the message to be read and the bot was like, not today, not today. Okay, I'll read it, although I'm probably going to cry if I if I read it. I'm always so amazed that we've been friends for five years now. It honestly feels like the blink of an eye. From lecturing you about skipping classes to being so proud of you when you pass the bar. Tiffy Boo, you're an extraordinary woman with a kitty so cute I could die. I love you to bits, and here's to another five years. See, I knew it was going to happen. Tara! It was too sweet of you thank you so much for the tier two sub 61 months that is yeah we've we've come so far in the past five years it is incredible thank you for always being there thank you for being here tonight i hope you had uh, a good tuesday today i see euros counting down the days until friday which is i presume your last day of work before vacay vacay ah oh, i'm so excited yeah my vacay's coming up soon as well, I'm um, heading back east to spend time with my parents and uh, my friends. I'm very excited to just do nothing. Uh, just not think about work, have someone else do my laundry, cook me dinner, and sleep in, play some video games. It's, it's going to be fantastic. So, But as I was saying, I think we're going to finish up Star Wars just in time before I go, which is perfect timing. So then when I get back, we can start something fresh. Uh, a lot of people wondering what's next. And normally I do have it planned out. Normally that's not a uh, unfair question for me because normally I'm like two steps ahead. Like you asked me, Tiff, what are we streaming next? And I'm like, I can tell you the next three things we're streaming. But for the first time in like ever, I don't have something planned. Uh, I've been, don't get me wrong. I've been thinking about it and I've changed my mind like a half dozen times. And I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna go on vacation. We'll, I'll see what I'm feeling when I get back. Maybe I'll ask you guys. We'll do a little poll or something. If I can narrow it down between options. But I, I actually don't have anything picked out. So, um, who, who am I? Who is she? She, what? She doesn't have a plan? I know, it's shocking. We're just gonna roll with it. And it's, uh, it's all gonna turn out good. So we'll figure that out when I get back in, uh, that won't be till mid-July anyway. So, uh, without further ado, I did get started a little bit late this evening, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get the game launched, and then we can get started with some Jedi fun! I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. Just play Stardew Valley until you figure it out. I mean, honestly, not a bad suggestion. When in doubt, Stardew it out. <laughs> that is a totally valid way to live. Absolutely. When in doubt, star do it out. When in doubt, star do it out. As you can see, we are very close to the big 200 in terms of death counter. We are sitting at 195. Um, a lot of those deaths came from the, uh, the boss fight last night. It wasn't easy. It took me a good... 30 to 45 minutes of trying, but after trying out a few different stances and following your guys' advice, we 
managed to beat it. Um, so when we pick up here, we should be with Cal in the swamp. We use an escape pod to get off the giant ship quickly and landed in the swamp. So presumably we need to go meet back up with the crew and then flying up to the moon. <laughs> Do you guys remember when I did the Stardew Valley fishing tournament with Alana and Tori? That, that was fun. That was a good throwback. We should do that again. I really enjoyed that. That Like, in a way, that feels like yesterday, and in a way, it feels like forever ago. I guess that was two years ago now. No. Three years ago. Holy shit. It was in 2020. It was, yeah. No, three years ago. All right, so here we are, as I said, we are in the swamp after crash landing in our pod. And we need to go find Ravis, the head of the mercenaries, Mr. Squidman, on the moon. Tiff, we're old, right? So freaking old. Um, fast, right. I always forget that you can only fast travel from the meditation circle. This is, this is new. Wait, and this is a, a new meditation circle, too. Oh, fun. Yeah, okay. I see. I'm gonna fast travel, though. Because I don't want to walk through a bog. I bet it stinks in here. <laughs> also gonna switch up my stances, because we were trying out literally everything. last night to beat the boss, so we got some sort of unconventional ones. And we can fast travel. Um, can I just get back to my ship? Yeah, right here. To the ship. Landing pad. Fast travel! Go! guys, I'm back. Hey, Marin. Marin is here with us now. Be careful. Oh, I was already careful. I got what we need. Okay, I'll debrief you guys. Let's see what's out there. We need to go back to the Shattered Moon. Heading to the Shattered Moon. Yes, sir. They will be expecting us. Cal and I made it through the Lucre Hulk, all right? You and I have different definitions of all right. I wonder why Dagon sent Ravis instead of coming here himself. Probably because we kicked his butt so bad, he's licking his wounds and getting Ravis to do all his dirty work. That's what I would guess. Ready for me to sit down, or...? No, not yet. Hey, Bode. All right, kids, sit down. We're here. Okay. Vulture droids. Looks like Ravis has more Separatist toys than we thought. Doesn't look like they spotted us yet. Think you can land? I don't know. The risky part's gonna be taken off again, and the last thing I want is to be stuck on this haunted rock. You guys build a second cantina. Franchise. Hey, <laughs> how about you save the jokes for later, Jetpack? I can hide the mantis. Last I checked, this ship isn't equipped with a cloaking device. What is she doing? Oh, did you forget she's a space witch? She doesn't need a cloaking device. She's got that. The vultures are right in front of us. God, she's so badass. Cloaking an entire ship. My girl okay. is powerful. Impressive. Yeah, give her respect, Bode. We will drop you off. Okay. Good luck with Ravis. Thank you. Can Thank we you. kiss again? Okay, nope. Kid. Hurry back. Jetpack, man the guns. Copy that. 
Oh, and I might need some of your blood. What? In case I get tired. <laughs> She's funny. I like her even more. Before we get going, I actually want to go back to the workbench. Be careful. Don't worry, I'll be good. I want to go back to the workbench and do a little customization. I, I like changing up BD every now and then once we get new parts, and I'm pretty sure we picked up new parts on Kobo. So let's take a look. Eyeballs, eyeballs, eyeballs. No wait. Yeah, those are new. Oh, they're cute, actually. It makes them look really derpy. Kaminoan photoreceptors. With the scrapyard head. The regular ears. Genosian body. And regular legs. Yes! So cute! Okay, and now we got some new colors and stuff too. So let's. Whoa! The all white BD looks cool. Okay. What else do we got? We could get a, a pink BD. Shiny BD. I think I'm going to go back to a sort of uh, basic whites and reds. Yeah! Oh, he's so cute! In pristine condition, of course. I love him! Yes, perfect. Alright. Come on, little buddy. We got a job to do. Time to go get that compass. Want to say anything before I go? Be careful. Thanks. Oh, she cares about me, guys. All right. Now the real question is, where are we going? Looks like I want to zip line over this way. What is that noise? What is that? Oh, that was the mantis. They dropped me off and left. What? Okay, guess we're not uh guess we're not going back. The array is active. Probably not good. Okay, bye guys. Raiders are locking this place down. that little tiny section of HP that's missing. Keep moving. Our objective is up there where the array is turned on, I think. Oh! That's Ravis's ship. He's headed for the tower. God damn it. He's gonna get there faster than us. Come on, BD. Double time, buddy. Double time. Best way up is through the array. Wait. Wait a minute. Can I lift this? No, Cal, stop doing that. I'm trying to use your. Oh, never mind. Yeah, we don't need to do that. Okay. This way. Get up there. Ah. 
Yeah, we can do that now. Okay, perfect. I already secured that. Don't open Oh shit, he hit me with a rocket. Crap! And I'm stuck in the corner, I cannot see. Nope. Wow, okay. No, that was a disaster. Got stuck in the corner, got hit by a rocket, couldn't figure out my camera. Let's try that again. First combat encounter of the night. Not best combat encounter of the night. Should have rested at uh, the other meditation points. So we wouldn't have to go so far. I'll do that on the way over. <laughs> All right, rest right here. And we'll go do that again. Okay. I'm ready. Come on, baby. Come on, little buddy. I gotta take out this guy first. There we go. Droids down, just me and you. Holy crap! That stick does a lot of damage. Creeping ever closer to that 200 death mark. Same plan, take out this guy first. Done. All right, there we go. Maybe Centauri hid the compass in the tower. Only one way to find out. Climb up there ourselves, yeah. All right, Cal. Up we go. I heard the boss wants to go away. Do you hear that? Holy shit! Did you see that? Those poor droids got caught up in the crossfire. They got wrecked! Whoa, okay, note to self. Firing chamber. Don't get caught up in that. Yeah. I don't love the idea either. Whew, and we need to go through the firing chamber? We're gonna get incinerated. Go, Cal, run. Run, 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 run! Oh God! Woo! The forest ray bombs pulled back on. Future ray activated next. Dagon was right about Centauri. That was close. What do we got here? Fabrication facility on the moon. Would save us bringing materials from elsewhere. Do you like? <laughs> I don't know. I was looking for a filter, a, like a Star Wars filter, preferably, and I came up with that. What's that? Nothing. 
I don't know if you guys saw uh, my post either on Twitter or on Instagram, but Alana just came in to uh, show me how creepy it was. So I'm not even going to tell you what it is. I'm just going to say, go look for yourself. <laughs> it's fucking terrifying. Also, why is his whole body peeled except for his fingers? He got to keep his skin fingers. I don't know. I was... I, I don't know. I hate it. It brought you to stream, though, didn't it? <laughs> hey, Beast! How are you, my friend? Welcome. Look, I went for the shock factor on tonight's stream promotion, alright? That's that's what it's all about. Plug in my own Twitter. Go check it out. <laughs> Dara says, oh, I found it, and... I hate it, too. <laughs> See? It's the shock factor! <laughs> I was looking for filter- I was looking for a Star Wars filter is what I was looking for. Um, and for some reason that came up, and I was like, you know what? Mm-hmm. It's gonna get people talking. For good or for bad. <laughs> what the fuck? Take orders from anybody. <laughs> I need to take a, a picture of chat and send it to Alana. Seems chat is with you about the picture. Laughy face. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. That's nice. So what you're saying is you really liked it, right? I know. How could you expect such beauty, such grace in one photo? How could I put something that beautiful on the internet for free? That's probably what you're thinking, right? <laughs> yes! Oh, I even got a trophy for doing that! Pushing the guys into the beam. Keep that on the OnlyFans. <laughs> see, it got people talking. It did exactly what I wanted it to do. I wanted people to see that picture and make them either stop by the stream or just, you know, generally talk about it. And look, it did it. Me and me and the meat man. We came, we did what we had to do. <laughs> Please never bring back the meat man. <laughs> oh, your guys' reactions are making it so worth it. Even if you do not survive, such life for good riddance. I was still fine until not this time. I literally love force pushing them into that beam. That is so sick. I've got you now. Roast them! Yes! I just need to stay over there and just wait for them to keep walking into that fucking beam. Or, you know, gently pushing them in the right direction of the beam. Nice! Now the droids are tossing down bombs and blowing up their own dudes? Wow, I took out a whole squadron with very little effort. That was fantastic. That's the way I like it. Oh, hi! Well, you don't have to patrol anymore if I kill you. It's called early retirement! Nice. Good job, Cal. How long 
have you lay dormant. Soon, you will sing again. So I guess that was Ravis here activating this giant beam. For centuries, the moon station lay dormant and damaged. Ravis and Dagon, however, are determined to breathe life into the facility once more. The question is why? What does this thing have to do with us getting to Tantalor? But I suppose we'll find out. Hey, Cal. You there? I'm here. We'll do. Got it. Which Hogwarts house am I? I am a Gryffindor. <laughs> hey, law. You missed it literally five minutes ago. Alana just walked into my office and goes, what is this? <laughs> and shows me the picture that I posted on Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> Look, I'll give you the backstory. I was trying to find a filter, a Star Wars filter, and for some reason, Snapchat suggested that one in to me instead. So I said, you know what? I want people to come to the stream. This is going to get people to come to the stream and talk about it. It's- it's called the- the shocking effect. The shock and awe effect. And did it shock? Did it all? Absolutely did! Y'all are coming here to tell me how much you hate it, so it worked! Thank you, Tara. I'm glad you noticed that I... ...saved myself there on that fall. I almost missed it. Is Ravis talking to me right now? I think so. Oh, shit. Stagon, right, Ravis, stop talking. I can't even barely hear you over the sound of this giant fucking laser. What are you even saying? This is a big speech. I don't have time for this right now. Oh my god, is he still talking? This is the longest villain speech ever. Oh crap. Uh. No? Okay, where was I supposed to go there? Oh, I need to go in through the barrel that's shooting the laser. Okay, that should be good for us. I see no potential issues arising there. Oh no, we're gonna get fucking blasted, Cal! <laughs> wow, okay. We almost got there. I saw where I needed to go. There was a door on the side, but... I think our literal atoms got incinerated there. That was something else. Okay, let's wait for it to go and then we'll go again. Crap, we're gonna get destroyed. Fuck. Alright, third time's the charm. Third time's the charm, Cal. Let it go by and we'll go back in. Run, 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 run! Woo! Woo! Oh, we did it! Just in time! Oh, man. Phew! 
The hour approaches for you to make Dagon's vision real once more. Like, TBH, what even is Dagon's vision? Why is he so desperate for Tantalor? Like, he is fucking thirsty. Persistence reveals the path. Like, we want Tantalor because we can have a nice, safe, secure place to hide from the Empire. I feel like at this point, for Dagon, it's just about pride. Because he wanted to settle there, the Jedi Council said no. Now he's like, well, fuck the Jedi Council! <laughs> but again, I'm sure he'll give us the whole villain speech and we'll find out about every aspect of his plan. Lad. I doubt she ever thought it would come to this. She made her choices. If it helps us find a home that's free of the Empire, so be it. Huh. This is different. Republic Research Laboratory is where we just walked into. Time to move. Got some droids in there. Don't fall behind. Jedi, you are nearly too late. I await you in the control tower. Oh, finally we can do something with these inflatable things. We've seen them in the world previously, and I've never known what to do with them. Okay, I still don't know what to do with them. <laughs> uh... Huh. What are these things? There Maybe there's a another mechanic I've gotta get. There must be something I'm gonna pick up in here that's gonna allow me to use those thingies. Can you give the giant floating squishmallows a hug? I mean, I would like to. I'm hoping it's gonna give me the ability to now, soon. Holy shit. He was fast. That's death number 199, guys. We're getting there. What'd you find, BD? Laboratory thermoregulator. To control tests effectively, the inner laboratory's temperature is strictly regulated by a master control unit in the laboratory's atrium. AKA good AC. <laughs> the High Republic had good AC. That's what we learned today. Hey, Sendel. The guy with the stick hits really hard. Hey, the step number 200, ladies and gentlemen. Look at us hitting milestones together. 200 times you've watched me respawn in this game. So you know what? Congrats to you guys. Nice try. You'll break. 
Yeah, the guy with the stick hits really hard. We need to take care of these bots so we can focus on him. Alright. Me and you, motherfucker. Got him in a corner. Just where I wanted him. Do with this little terminal, buddy. Open the door! That's my little buddy. Okay, before we go that way, I do want to go up this way. This is where all the droids were coming from. So perhaps they left something behind. Yeah, they sure did. Woo! Shiny! No test so far has been successful. Dagon Gera has belief. That oh. he senses something I do not. Big guy up here, too. Holy fuck! Dude crushed me! It was insane. That's what I get for going off the beaten path in search of loot, I guess. Got this door open so I can actually run over here and grab this. What happened? When catastrophe struck Kobo's moon, the laboratory was not spared. Personnel within the lab could only take cover and hope as their carefully curated experiments shattered around them. Still don't 100% know what they were, uh, even research. Well, I know they what they were. They were researching ways to get to Tamalor, but I don't know what other stuff they were doing here. Presumably they were running more than one experiment. Now, is there, can I even go this way, or do we actually have to go back towards the big guy with the hammer? I feel like we do. Alright, fine. I'm coming. Holy! Nice wall jump! There we go. Alright, guess we're going back upstairs. Oh wait, what's that? It's flooded with Kobo matter. Worth checking out, right? For sure, we just gotta get up there. Hello. Ooh, the chase. Oh, I don't want to fight two of you guys at once. That's gonna be hard. <laughs> Can like only one of you come down here? We'll fight, and then I'll fight with the other guy later. Wow, I think they actually listened to me. That's so considerate of them. Thank you, guys. This makes it a whole lot easier for me. I appreciate you. Nice. 
Alright, now let's go see if we can take down Big Papa. Hello? I'm back. Just got a notification that I'm online? Awesome. Just in time. Nice. Woo! Got us a skill point, too. Now. Where do I even go up here? Hmm. Why do I feel like I actually need to go this way? So I didn't even need to fight those guys. Well, at least we get a skill point out of it. I don't- can I make that jump? So we're gonna find out. Nope, we can't. Hmm. Where do I go? It's gotta be something to do with those floaty things. But I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. Hmm. There's no way to go in here? Like, what am I supposed to do with you? Yeah, it looks like I have to burn the, um... The vines, which is all fine, but how do I... Get the beam started? Hmm, yeah, I need a hint. Way out of here is blocked by Kobo matter. Is there an orb around here? Well, that's what I've been looking for, Cal. Hey, Penny! How are you? Cal's just here giving me useless hints. Oh, there's the orb! Oh! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. But what am I gonna do with it? Uh... It can roll under there! Oh. Okay. I, th I think I understand. We did ju we actually just hit 200 deaths, so... You arrived just in time for the big celebration. The question is, is how we're gonna get over there fast enough to pick it up on the other side? Oh, I'm sorry to hear things at work are stressful right now, Penny. I, I, I understand. I'm very sorry to hear that's happening to you. Work can suck, I know. I would leave you some roses by the stairs if I could, Penny. But hopefully you'll, uh... You'll either be able to get, take some time off, or you can just say, fuck you guys, I'm out of here. Go, 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 go! 
Yes! Okay, here we go. Nice. I don't need a hint now. I figured it out. Either way, your time off will be used to look for another job. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Yeah, you you should never All that have to feel this awful. Was it made here? About your job. So I'm I'm glad you're putting yourself first and doing what you need to do. Gadget we found in the to get yourself fires. out of a shitty situation. Can help here. Got this one, right, BD? Here we go. Okay. It's moving now. We're figuring it out. We're moving and grooving. See what Cree was up to. What's this? Oh, it's just a workbench. Oh, it's more than a workbench. I'm having major mem flashbacks. Okay. Centauri. Dagon, what have you done? What I must. Stop. But you want what I want. Why else would you deceive the council? You've lost your way. Surrender. And we can figure this out together. Come with me. It's too late for that. Such despair, Santari. Tanalor. You can feel it slipping away. My despair is for you. Tanalor has changed you. It's changed you as well. Step aside. No. Then I must go it alone. Oh, that's how he lost his arm. His girlfriend cut it off. Said Plot twist. So that's the last thing that happened before he went in the back to tank. His girl cut his arm off. Rough. What'd you find? The TLDR is everyone just got obsessed with this planet, Tantalor. Works with my grapple. Like, don't get me wrong, a secret hidden world? Yes, we love it. But do we need to lose our minds over it? Perhaps not. All right, so we upgraded our hook shot, and I think now we can use Why? the floating bubbles. Perhaps. All right. Babe, how much do you think I'm worth? An arm and a- What the fuck? <laughs> try. Yeah, we can grapple on these balloons now and do like- What is this? Whoa! Big jumps. Huh. It works. On to Ravis. Cool. Very cool. Okay. Let's see where we had to go now. Oh, not quite far enough. Ouch. Okay. What is this? Uh, what did that even do? No idea what what that actually did. Okay, it's fine. Oh crap! No, you're supposed to. Yeah. Here we go. Now we can go this way. Or not. What is that scary noise? Listen to the scary noise again. Oh, there we go. Whew. Cal got it with like his fingertips. The things we do for loot. What do we got? 
perk for our gun. All right. Okay, so we need to get up there. How do we get up there, though? Perhaps... What happens if I step in this? Oh, BD's gonna scan it. What is it, BD? Stabilizer beam. A series of modules bring the laboratory, feeding energy down into the array's initializing chamber. Maintaining a constant flow of energy is seemingly vital to ensuring the entire array remains stable. <laughs> okay. I guess uh, if you jump into it, it's an it's a insta-death. Got it. Noted. Hmm. Okay, perhaps we need to go back to the start. There were balloons back here, too, right? No, but I can't get to the start from here. Hmm. Okay, I guess we do need to go around this way. Oh, first we got something to scan. Oh, nice. Find something? Inoperable console. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. I gotta jump right here. Got it. Ah, uh, Cal. His legs, like, gave out when he tried to wall run. There we go. All coming together now. You're so dead. Sorry, buddy. I think you're the one who's dead. I love force force pushing guys off of ledges. Can slice that. So satisfying. Yeah, here we go. Now we're back to the start. So we can go across on these ones. Yep. 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 Last one. Let's go. Uh, where do we go from here? <laughs> is this a door? Ah, it is a door. Oh shit, and here's Ravis. Ravis. Jedi. Hello, tentacle man. It's been many years. Since I last life of the Jedi. Why did you activate the I heard you. Long ago, Dagon bested me in combat. Earned my loyalty. Ah. We fought side by side until the Jedi betrayed him. Here we go. So this is their backstory as Too well. Many of your order to defeat me. And yet. Honored me. Denied me a warrior's death. Left me to rot in a cage for centuries. So, seems our destinies are intertwined. The demise of your order allowed me to escape. And yet, nothing has changed. You're still just Dagon's servant. Time does not diminish my loyalties. Without a code, you can only serve yourself.
Where's the compass, Ravis? I owe you nothing, Jedi! If you want that knowledge from me, you're gonna have to fight for it. Let's do it! Oh my god, he's so tall. All right, here we are. We knew this was coming at some point. Ever since I saw Ravis, I was like, well, he's gonna be a boss fight. He's gotta have a phase two, because he's going down too too easily. I'm like preparing myself for phase two. Come at me again. I will, yeah, if you ask. Man, he's got tricks with his little stick. Oh shit. Is this your limit? Woo! That was a big kick, my dude. shock the cutscene was literally playing and then it reversed and i was dead i i'm in shock right now what just happened wow that is so mean <laughs> That's so mean. I mean, yes, I'm sure there was a phase two, but what the hell was that? The cutscene was literally playing. I've literally never seen that before. I'm so glad you have my back on this, Meerkat. Because that is BS. I feel robbed right now. Alright, guess we'll do that again. Hi, I'm back. After some rude ass bullshit. Old so very <laughs> Hey Travis. Look. You and me both, buddy. We're both old now. Remember when you first met me and I was a fresh-faced 1L? Now I'm 29. Been a lawyer for two years. We're old, buddy. Thank you so much for the resub, though. 59 months! That's incredible! Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to Star Wars Jedi Survivor. I'm currently fighting a dude named Ravis, and I should have just beat him, but the game glitched out on me, and I'm really mad about it. So, we're going for round two. <laughs> it will 
Everyone, if you're not following my friend Travis and you're looking for both a Twitch streamer and a YouTuber, Travis has also, like me, been making YouTube content lately. Uh, I totally recommend him. He he has such a particular way of playing video games. He's an, I think you call yourself an uber completionist, Travis, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but he's very meticulous and thorough in all the games that he plays, and I find it very entertaining to watch, so... Give Travis a follow, either on, on Twitter or on YouTube. You won't- you won't regret it. <laughs> this is a fine battle! Alright, can we actually beat him this time, or the game's gonna fuck with me again? There we go! Okay, it's actually working this time! Woohoo! I should have beat him first try. I'm still gonna call this first try win, because he got taken away from me. First time. His armor must have Beskar alloy, because that fucker is stopping so many of my attacks. I've been waiting for oh no, not the tentacles, not the tentacles, not the tentacles! For 200 years! Oh. <laughs> I won't disappoint you then. Alright, it's time for round two. We're not gonna beat round two, because I have no health. But I'm glad to know that there is a round two confirmed, because I thought there was, but it's good to have that confirmation that Mr. Tentacles comes out in phase two of the boss fight. All right. That's fine. There he is. He called me a warrior. I feel like it's a big compliment coming from him. Oh shit, I didn't know he had another move after that. I thought his combo was done. But it was not. Stop kicking me! Unfortunately, we're getting low on stims again, which is not good for phase two coming up, but it's fine. I still gotta learn to fight. Yeah, see that? Every time I'm like, I'm in the clear to attack, and he's like, nope, got another unblockable move. Now, what new moves does he have in phase two? That's a real question. 
got like tentacle moves, I assume. My worst nightmare. Okay. Honestly, I mean, I know we were only in the fight for a minute there, but he seemed pretty similar. I'm sure he'll whip out one or two new moves, but... We can do this. We've already got phase one down, and it's only been, what, three, four attempts? We can do this. fighting a gross tentacle man. So I'm a little distracted right now. pet you right now, honey. My hands are fully occupied. You're gonna have to cheer for me to beat the battle so I can pet you. I'm doing really good. Okay, just climb on my lap. Yes, go on. I'm on my lap. You're distracting me. Okay, phase two. I love you. Here's all the kisses. Here's all the pets during this cutscene. Puzzling you. Okay, you're gone. Let's do this. that time. We got him, like, to half health. He, his second form is not actually that different from his first form. The thing that's most different is he has much longer, more aggressive combos where he does sort of like a ballet coming out of the face with his big stick. We can absolutely do this. Alright, buddy. I'm back. Ow. 
Ah, oh, fuck! I was doing good that round, too. I got too aggressive there because I saw that his uh, stamina bar was almost down. Just gonna awkwardly crouch back there on my work laptop muff. Whatever floats your boat, girl. Gets me with that kick every time. I'm never expecting it. Blocked the kick. Felt like a moment of growth. Okay. Yeah, we're we're finishing round one pretty easily at this point, which is good because now we can focus our attention on round two and his mega combos. Like holy. F how many times did he just hit me? Okay. After the unbreakable, it's not the end of his combo. Noted. Holy crap, yeah. The difference between phase one and phase two is in, in phase two, he's way more aggressive. He's like, ah, my tentacles are out. I'm ready to fight. He doesn't give you a chance to breathe. Yeah, and he's more melee combo oriented, exactly. I'm starting to get his moves set down now. Has he even hit me yet? I don't want to speak too soon. <laughs> oh, I've got I've got him down now. I know everything he's going to do. I'm feeling good. I don't think he's hit me yet. Okay, he hit me with the rockets. There we go. There we go. That's the perfect setup for phase two. Let's do this, Cal. Long lost 
I just gotta stay out of his fucking reach. Wow, did you hear that? He just said I was exceptional. Bravest, thank you. You're simply exceptional, he said. Wow. Wasn't expecting such a compliment from you, sir. I like it, though. It's very nice of you. Man, I'm apparently giving him the fight of his life by the sounds of it. He is he's having a blast. Not enough combat. Did I get him? Yes! Woohoo! Down he goes! Two phases. It only took us what? Six tries? Woo! Where is the compass? <laughs> Feels good. Centauri Kree's observatory. As Dagon suspected, I have opened the way. He goes there now. I defeated you. Fight with me. We can take on Dagon together. Ooh, good play, Cal. <laughs> Recruit the Tentacle Man. I will not, Jedi. Oh, never mind. It was worth a try. After all these centuries, I still dream. Of Tantalor. I had hoped to see it again, but oh, that is not to be. This Dagangara stands in your way. You don't have to do this. Only one of you will reach Tantalor. That's okay. He's made of too many tentacles to be a friend. <laughs> True. Give True. Me my warrior's death. Can you imagine screaming at someone? Please kill me! Oh, off with the arm! Off with his head! <laughs> Goodbye, Ravis. Thank you for all the compliments. We should go. As far as tentacle guys go, you were one of the better ones. R.I.P. All right. At least we know where to go. We gave him a warrior's death. We got ourselves a skill point, plus whatever this is. Nice, a new perk. Freeze, you there? Cal, I don't know what you did, but those vulture droids are making a hasty exit. I killed their boss. Okay, I meet you there. Copy that. We'll be waiting for you, kid. Platforming uh, around the surface of this moon is pretty cool.
There's the Mantis. Maybe Ravis was right. Dagon abandoned the Jedi Code. Now look at him. Consumed by his obsession with Tantalor. How is that different from what we're doing? Because you're not obsessed with anything? Don't worry about it. I mean, you want to go to Tantalor, but you're not going to betray your people to get there. That's the difference, Cal. You can want something and not be crazily obsessed with it so it ruins you and everyone else around you's life. That's the difference, my little ginger-haired friend. Whew. All right. Let's take a quick stop at this meditation point where we can get some upgrades. The force is with me. The force is with you, buddy. We can also take a look at those new perks we got. Ooh, enemies in a small area are staggered when Cal is healing. Cal can take one hit and not be interrupted. That's nice. Very nice. We're going to equip that, and then we'll go to skills. I think we have every survival skill now. Let me just double check. Yeah, we have every single one, so that's nice. Pick up some Jedi concentration, aka force related abilities now. Perfect. Alright, now let's get back Off to the ship. Go. Off we go indeed. Wait, where's BD? Oh, there he is. Whew. Worry there for a second, little guy. <sighs> Back from a blaster, better run a little faster. Goodbye, alone saloon. The location shattered moon. <laughs> That's a great theme song. Daddy ain't dead. How you doing, kid? How? Whatever you did up there should kick the firebug nest. Ravis is gone. Yeah, that'll do it. So let me guess. Back to Kobo? Yeah, I think so. Say, uh, jetpack. Give me a hand up here. Yeah. Don't tell Grease, but he's right about this moon. Creepy. Yeah, it's fine. All right, we've been back and forth, back and forth between Let's the moon and Kobo. Destination. Back to Kobo it is. We need to confront Dagon at the Kobo Observatory. Headed to Kobo's finest watering hole. Feeling very chatty this evening, hey? Just standing here quietly. That's fine. There's Kobo straight ahead. That's where we're going. Am I ready to sit in yet? <laughs> BD's just pressing buttons. Any minute now, Grease. You can tell me to sit down. I need to clear my mind. Oh, interact with the hollow table. Okay. You're brooding. Again. That easy to read my mind? It's no Jedi trick. Just pay attention. <laughs> On the Shattered Moon, I saw Dagon confront Centauri. 
was so consumed by Tantalor that he completely lost his way. Reminds me of my fight with the Empire these last few years. Let's just say I don't want to end up like him. You are very stubborn, but ambition does not drive you. Huh. I just don't understand why she didn't see the change in him before it was too late. We dreamed together and suffered together. Shared dream is not so easy to wake from. Is that what troubles you? Losing yourself. Yeah. A little. If you ever stray from your path, We will guide you back. Back to Kobo, made it in one plea, one piece. Now we need to head. Where is it we need to head? It's a real question. Over here. The Kobo Observatory. So we can actually fast travel almost all the way there. We just need to go to a meditation point. Wait, is that boat? Hey man, what are you doing? I'll catch up with you. Gonna fire up the Z95 for some good old-fashioned air support. Thanks, Bode. See you up there. This is it. The home stretch. Can't stop now. Okay, sounds like this may be sort of the final chapter upcoming here. So before we dive right in, let's pop into the saloon and see who's around to chat. I definitely want to chat with Z because we haven't had a chance to chat with her since we rescued her. And uh, we have some currency we can give her to purchase some stuff and things. So let's go do that. Any minute now. There we go. Hey, Cal. Good to see you. Hey, man. I don't know. I'm sad, Monk. No, Turtle, what what's wrong? Why aren't you sad? A drink, Monk. I need a drink. Are you sure? I think we both remember what happened the last time I saw you. I started trading with the Bedlam Raiders. <laughs> oh, drinking's brought me nothing but misery. Oh. Yeah, it has. But keep it to yourself, will you? We got a <laughs> You okay, Turtle? Yeah, it's bopping. Well, it's been really busy. And I helped by staying out of the way. Did you know there's even a garden on the roof? Yeah, I've seen it. You know what I like about plants? When you talk to them, they can't just walk away. <laughs> oh, Turgle. Someone give this man a hug. Oh my god. Little Turgle. Alright, where is Z? I think she's up here. Z! Yeah, there she is. Oh, and Marin's here too. Hey, guys. Alright, I would like to buy a new perk slot. I'll take it. And then we can buy. A new little body for Buddy, or new little legs for Buddy? Can't go wrong with this. Cow! How good to see you! You too, Z. 
Should you find any data disks from my day, I'd be happy to decrypt them for you. I imagine there are many that remain lost on Kobo. We'll let you know if we do. Hey, man. With Ravis dead, the Bedlam Raiders have been wounded. This makes them dangerous. They weren't exactly harmless before. No, they were not. I will look after the outpost. The Raiders may strike if they think we are vulnerable. I'll be back as soon as I can. I know you will, and I will be waiting. Oh, Cal and Marin sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. <laughs> All right, so with that done. I think I am ready to head to the outpost. Not bad. I've seen worse rooftop gardens. I've cleared another plot for you. Oh. Thank you for growing plants to their full potential. All right, well, I'll plant a few more plants. If that'll make Might you well happy. plant some of these seeds. I'm sure Peely knows something about this plant. I think they'll like it there, buddy. There. Planted some more seeds for you, Peely. So Marin's gonna take care of the saloon. Bode's gonna join us in his uh, little ship. Provide good old backup. So all we gotta do is follow the spooky beams and it should bring us to where we need to go. If I can find a meditation circle. Like I said, we can just, uh... Just teleport there. Looks like there's one up there. Is it this way? I always get lost. No, it's this way. Oh yeah, I see it. That blue beam of light. Flying up into the sky, that's where we're headed. Oh, something for you to scan, buddy? What is it, a shell? Turgle's shiny shell. Outpost residents will warily attest to Turgle's elation at having found a particularly remarkable shell and his subsequent despair at having lost it. This appears to be that shell, though it is by no means provable nor worthy of further investigation. Oh! <laughs> Sweet Turgle, why can't we bring him back his shell? Not getting through. I got him. Making me earn it. It's over yet. only the force now we may be able to equip another perk if we have any one slot perks which we don't so never mind <laughs> all right we're gonna fast travel nope wrong button we are gonna fast travel to right here mountain ascent This should be the way to Centauri Kree's lab. Empire, like I've got enough shit to deal with without you guys here too. Help. 
think it's the first time we've ever gotten BD to hack one of those guys. Better late than never, I suppose. Holy f fuck, the chickens. The chickens! The hardest enemy in the game. The chickens. Right, you know what? I don't even got time for you guys. Get out of here. Mm-hmm. Try to catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Oh, we gotta get rid of these fucking chickens. Ah! And gross bugs. Alright. Wildlife taken care of. Hi. Flamethrower was actually probably a good idea for the local wildlife. Why were you hiding in the grass trying to murder me, chicken? It's just rude. Oh hey, I had a shortcut here this whole time and I never What'd you find? Never used it? Mm. Not much. What the heck? Anyway. <laughs> Which way now? Oh, I missed it. I need to go back to where I was. I actually went past it. I think, or can I get there this way? I'm never good at reading this map. Maybe I need to go this way. Oh, there's loot here. Ooh, great Sick. find. We need to go this way. Then, yeah, here. Ah! Get away from me, you freaks! Get away from me, you freaks! Get away from me, get away from me, get away from me, you freaks! Say! A whole nest of shiver peats. Oh, Grease is gonna love this story. Glad someone's gonna love the story, because I didn't. What'd you find, buddy? Shiver Pete Nest. Let's see what loot we got. <gasps> oh, that's disgusting! Mustache and patch. Wow, you can really get some disgusting facial hair for Cal. Look at this. This one. This one. So many gross ones. Was that worth coming into a shiver peed nest? I don't know that it was. Now the question is, how do I get over here? Hmm. I think it looked like this was the right way. I must have to go up this way. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Wrong button. get him before they got too close to me, but... Womp womp. At least we unlocked the shortcut this time. Ch 
Chickens are brutal, aren't they? It's crazy how powerful they are. Headed the chickens. Holy crap, what are these dinosaurs? Alright, we're in the right place. Get away before the dinosaurs eat me. Uh, oh man, they are angry. Ah! Cal, run! You've been transported to Jurassic Park! Raiders have the Empire spooked. This could get pretty ugly, BD. Raiders versus Empire. Love that for us. Visibility is pretty bad. Gotta push through. Yeah, it is foggy and spooky here. Is that an Imperial shuttle? I don't know why they were flying in such poor conditions. Want to check it out? I mean, by the looks of it, I think they crashed, Cal. They seem to be on fire, so... I need to center myself. The lift isn't here. Is there anything in that little house up here? Oh! Yeah, there were bombs! Good. Love that for us. Here I came looking for loot and all I found was bombs. Womp womp. What'd you find, BD? He did his little blah, blah, blah thing. Here we go. This thing. An energy conduit. You don't have anything for it, do you? Mm. Must have to get another upgrade for BD before we can come this way. All right, that's fine. Ah. Jumping out the window was the better idea there. These weird roly ball things are coming up. Yeah, you! Weird roly ball things! Not today, fellas. Not today. Must have been thriving here once. Now it's a ghost town. Keep your sensors running, BD. I don't trust this place. Oh, we got dead troopers. Oh, it's getting real foggy. There's something up ahead. Oh, it's a Yeti! Oh, fuck. It's been a while since I fought one of these. I gotta remember its moveset. Yeah. 
Remember how many times this Yeti killed me early on in the game? Or not this particular one, but when we encountered a Yeti? It killed me so many times. 15 times! <laughs> yeah, it was pretty wild. Luckily, we seem to have gotten a lot better. First try! There you go, Cal. Got ourselves a skill point for that. Yeah, literally the Yeti killed me more than the uh, than the bosses did, which is crazy. What's this? Ah, maybe there we was should loot in there. Prospecting, huh, BD? Maybe. Probably be a less dangerous profession for you both. Oh, this was just a big loop. Okay. Hey, what's that? Monitoring equipment. A seismic detector that used small pulses to locate hidden objects. It also had the unfortunate side effect of agitating and attracting local wildlife. Time and the elements have since rendered it inoperable. Yeah, there's the ship. Not looking in good shape. <laughs> ah! Holy shit! There was a Yeti hiding behind the door! <laughs> I could never have expected that or saw that coming. That was nuts. <laughs> wow, okay. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to go all the way back through now. I'm just gonna run past these little balls. I'm gonna run past that other Yeti, too. Now that I know I have to fight another one, we may as well just get to it quick. That was crazy. Unexpected Yeti attack. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, did I miss the death? Yes, I might have. I was so- I was so genuinely shocked at what happened. I completely forgot to update the death count. That's number 210. Okay, before I go fuck with the Yeti, I want to see if there's a shortcut around here first. Oh, shit. Oh my god, there's a lot of bombs. Wow. A lot of security, huh? Yeah. wonder who was trying to keep things hidden. You can say that again. Holy crap, we burst that barrel and got a soul patch. <laughs> Another thing I could have never expected. Breaking a barrel and getting a soul patch. Add that to the list of disgusting facial hair options that Cal has. Alright, guess we'll go fuck up the Yeti now. Hi! Oh my god! The backhand! Oof! Yeti 2, Cal 0, but we do have a soul patch, so who's the real winner around here? <laughs> hey, Squirrely, what's up, stranger? It's good to see you. How is everything? Update us on the Squirrelyverse.
here, BD. <laughs> just what I needed. A little cheer from Cornelius and the big yeti is down. <laughs> Full detailed update. I'm alive! Yay! Round of applause for staying alive. Love that for you, Squirrely. <laughs> Seems we gotta climb the rest of the way. Seems so. Do you think, Cal? Cal Cal's favorite um, piece of equipment at the playground as, as a kid was the monkey bars. Luckily for us, that paid off. Finally, a shortcut. Safer than going on foot. 100%. Less yetis to deal with. I've been doing well, thank you. I can't complain. We've been playing uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor for the past little bit. And I've been absolutely loving it. Bye, guys. Um, but well, you're not gonna get promoted now because you're dead. Other than that, yeah, I can't complain. Works good, busy, but good. I'm going on vacation soon in, uh, well, not even two weeks, a week and a half at this point. I'm going back home to the East Coast to uh, see my parents, my mom and dad, my friends. So I'm very excited about that. Looking forward to not only the break off work, but, you know, seeing everybody. Will I? Or will you? Seems like you. Pretty big force sent to secure a shuttle. Must be something inside. Good job, BD. What do we have here? Oh, we can get inside the shuttle. Okay, yeah. Let's see what's in there. I don't know if it's a good idea to climb into a on fire shuttle, but we're doing it. Anything? The things we do for loot. Lightsaber needed for these droids. Bye, droids. Purge trooper. Gallo's coming tomorrow. What is it? Oh, you want it? Ah, this is where we get the upgrade for BD. Whoa. BD. Oh crap. At least we got a BD1 electro dart out of it. <laughs> Next time, maybe run a scan before you start firing. Wow. Electro dart unlocked. BD1 can now fire a dart to overcharge certain objects. BD1's dart can also make enemy droids easier to hack out of combat. Hit it. Ah, cool. There you go, folks. Climbing into burning wreckage turned out to be worth it. We got an upgrade for our little buddy. I don't know why you care about all this stuff. Well, how are we supposed to control a planet without knowing about it? Hi. 
R.I.P. You'll never learn about the planet or control it. Sucks to suck. Alright, so we can heal up and then we can head up there and use that thing. Focus. Ready to go? Can you hit it from here, BD? Let's adjust our aim. There. What does that do? Ah. Oh, okay. It moves back and forth. Got it. it, it is it going to move again or? Do I need another shock, BD? So when it starts moving, we'll ride along with it. Perfect. Look what we got here. More troopers. Bye. Bye. Ooh. I literally have no idea who said that. I, I, I think everyone's dead. I, okay. Maybe he's talking to me from beyond the grave. The ghost of troopers past. <laughs> hey, Power, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Thank you, everyone, for stopping in. I hope you had a good day today doing whatever you do on your usual Tuesday. I had a very long, busy day at work, so I'm extra excited to be here with you guys. Blowing off some steam and chopping off droid heads. Something's up there. I think that's probably where we're headed. I don't got a beer, but cheers to you and some uh, H2O. <laughs> dark and spooky caves. Hey, dark and spooky caves. Cal and Beatty love some dark and spooky caves. Hey. Fire away. You were just drinking with your lawyer 20 minutes ago? Nice. Love that for you. Now, should we go this way or should we go that way? That's the real question. I'm gonna go this way. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, they're all gone. Well, before I go this way then, I want to make sure I didn't miss any loot back here. Aha! Look, what is this? Oh, it's one of these things. It's like a challenge. Do you remember I spent like one hour trying to do one of these before? Defeat all enemies using the cross guard stance. I mean, there's no way this one can be as annoying as the last one was, right? Right? Yeah, exactly, Squirrely. Were you here for that day when I had to kill 150 droids? Alright, I gotta deal with you. Fuck. 
Okay. It's okay. We'll try it again. I wasn't exactly sure what I was getting into. Yeah, the, the best I ever got on that previous it. challenge was like 143, and I just had to give up because I was... It got to the point where I was just beating my head against the wall, and it wasn't even fun anymore. So I actually said I was going to go back and do it at some point, so we do have to do that, but... We found a new challenge in the meantime that we can do. Next. It's like a bounty hunter? Yeah, it is. It's a big chunk! Is it just one big chunk? No, it's two big chunks. Of course it's two big chunks. One would be... too few. In the grand chunk of things. Shit! Woo! I didn't think I was gonna dodge that. Oh, I dodged it just in time. Way more range than I was expecting. Alright, one chunk down! One chunk to go! Woo! Is this the end of the trial? Yeah! I did it! Okay, that one was way easier than that other one with the 150 droids. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, that did it. Now, what do we get? I got a skill point. Plus. Oh, no, I don't want to do it again. I did my time. I did, I did my time. Did you see movement? Also, why do they have buttons over their heads? Thanks, guys. I'm, I think I'm just going to let these guys kill me because I don't want to do it again. <laughs> it's fine. I'm not even counting that as a death because I, I tried to kill myself there. I didn't mean to go back in. I thought I had to do something to uh, it's gone now. We did it. Like reach in and sort of get my reward. But we got a skill point. Now we got three skill points to spend the next time we find a meditation circle. Ah, that feels good. Nothing better than beating a little challenge first thing in the morning, even though it is 8.30 p.m. <laughs> That's right, I had done my time. I wasn't doing a second longer in that challenge. GTFO. What do you see, buddy? What's this? Nice job. Abandoned prospector equipment. By the time of the Empire, prospectors had long left the mountain due either to failure or raider insistence. Their equipment, however, remains scattered across the peaks. Okay. I don't think 
located. Here's a meditation circle. Perfect. Stop. We've actually almost got three skill points to spend. We'll spend two for right now. Let's we'll see what we can get. Put it in Jedi concentration. Increase my maximum force. Either it, that definitely seemed easier than the 150 kill thing. The 150 kill thing seemed fine on the surface, but there was like. so much bullshit to trick. it. Like the pods would come down and literally like trap you in the corner, or like make my camera like I couldn't avoid the enemies literally dropping go. down. And then there would be a bunch of just literal suicide bots and it was just it was insane that's a lot of firepower it is a lot of firepower i guess the empire has a little presence here on kobo they have a legitimate base oh come on let him steal a tie fighter that would be sick launch it what did that do Oh, wait, before we go that way. This looks like a prime spot for potential loot. Called it. This terminal wall. Oh, I can't open it? Well, that's disappointing. Why would you give me loot and then be like, huh, eh, can't actually use it? Wait, what if I do this? Yay! Okay, there we go. Whew. I almost got sad, but now I'm happy because we have textured rubber. Phew. Good job, Cal. Didn't come out of there empty-handed. <laughs> Let's take the high ground. All right, all right. Cool, Trooper. Yes, sir. Is it the Raiders? That's right. We have reports of movement on the moon and from their base. If those Raider scum try anything, we'll blast them into dust. None of these doors open? Come on. Guess we're gonna go have guess we're gonna have to go down and fight, BD. Let's take out the dual blade. Me and you, boys. They, they just call me incompetent, or were they talking about their friends? Because that's just rude. BD, hack him! Use him against his friend! Yeah! Robot battles! <laughs> Do you guys remember the show Battle Bots? That's what we're watching live right now. Looks like the other guy won, though. R.I.P. to our bot. But he did enough. Oh! Reinforcements.
Wow, blew up three guys in a row with their own bombs. Oh shit, there's more! Holy crap! Alright. Forgot I uh, upgraded my slow time ability. You can see how much of a difference that made. Time was slowed like forever. Get rid of that guy. Right. We're just taking out a whole base of Imperials here. One Jedi versus one Imperial base. Who's gonna win? Yeah, some of the troopers can fly now. There's there's jetpack troopers. I'm hit. Oh shit, those are big boys. Okay, um What I would like to do is preferably get rid of the jetpack boys first. Oh, whoa! Okay, he killed me fast. <laughs> you know what the worst part is? Is we're gonna have to fight all those dudes again. Like, can't we just cut to the chase? The big boys at the end? Damn, alright. That's pretty tough. Oh, wait a minute! Wait, 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 wait. Look at this. Can I drop that on their heads, do you think? On you, BD. Nice! I can indeed drop it on their heads. Well, that took out a couple of them. I think BD can only hack one droid at a time, unfortunately. And they've got to be, like, almost dead before he can hack them. But it definitely can come in handy if you can get it in the right situation. Blew up their own dudes. Works for me. Thrower guys are hard because I can't get close to them. Shit. Shit. Alright, new plan. There we go. That worked. Should have hacked him actually and had him there ready to go when the next wave comes in. The question is, is can I get up there to actually attack them in person? No. Okay. That's fine. I reflected back so it's no work done. Bye! Don't try to throw bombs out of Jedi. 
Doesn't usually go well. Not feeling so right. great, PD. This should be the last wave with the big guys. Nope. I did not realize how many waves there were. Holy crap. Oh my god. Bing! Fuck! Okay. This is a this is a tough little section. Right here. They they're throwing a lot of guys at you, and the part I'm finding hard too is the ones that are up sort of out of reach, and it looks like the only way I can take them out is by reflecting. Which is fine, but it's hard to time that reflecting when you're also trying to fight a bunch of dudes in your face. At least we know this little trick now. Thank you for the hydration, Squirrely. We'll hydrate while that falls on their head. Oh, we already... it won't fall again. Hmm. That sucks. Alright. Yeah, that's the plan. Trying to throw this at them. Fuck! What the hell? Okay, I gotta do this. I need force. That droid this time, so we have him for the next round. That's a blow to morale. Yeah, me blowing up your friend. You could say it's a blow to morale. Probably categorize that as such. There we go, BD. Get him on our side, buddy. Okay. Yes! Yeah! He just killed some of them. Oh yeah, he's killed a bunch of them! Go, droid, go! Holy crap, that is so much damage. That's insanity. Can't see! Stuck in a corner! Stuck in a corner! Oh, I have, like, no HP left! Woo! Crap. Ah! We were close that time. Okay. Uh, you'd, you'd have to assume that that's the last wave of enemies, because there's so freaking many of them. 
But hacking the droid there at the end was a huge help. He took out a bunch of Imperials, so... We got this. I think we're gonna do it on this try. Let's see if I can just jump down from here. Yeah. Yes, Cal. Finish it with style. Yes, they can. Sorry, bud. Can you patch me up? All right. I know the plan for these fire guys. Now we're gonna do this. There we go. They're down. I think I'm done. I just need a second. The force pull is so helpful. We got a parry notification? That's pretty cool. Sack and BD. Alright. There we go. We're doing good now. To fucking Giga Brain. Thanks, Rear Cat. We got four stims heading into the final round. This should be good. Oh man, no! Oh, oh. <laughs> it all went downhill. I killed my own dude, and then I got overwhelmed. Oh man, this part is hard. Holy shit! This is not easy. We did way better that turn, though. I felt much more set up for the final encounter. We are out of stims. That's not ideal. Thank you. 
No! Oh my fuck! This is insane! This is like a... We're gonna beat this tonight. We're gonna beat this tonight, we're gonna go out on top, alright? Y'all heard it here first. I will not let the Empire win. No matter how many of them there are. Yeah, at least I know how to exactly kill these guys now. That helps. When you pull them to the ground, their, like, little backpack <laughs> actually catches on fire and they die immediately. So that deals with them very easily. Yeah, fuck him up, droid. All right, here we go. Final countdown, four stims. A droid. I'm set up as good as I could be. Let's try to finish this. Hey, bud, I do as well. The, I mean, the game is, in my opinion, better. It's more open world, there's a lot more to explore and do. Even, like, the opening intro was so much more cinematic, and it was fantastic. I just think this is a better game all around than the first one, so it was a great job by the devs making basically a perfect sequel. Something that feels very much like the first game, but yet hasn't been improved upon in every way. Hi. I'm in the middle of a boss fight. I'll be right with you. I guess I can't hack those kind of droids because he has no health left, but I couldn't hack him. Alright. Here we go. Finish. No! Oh my god! No! Oh, so close! Oh, hi, baby. We were very close. Hi! Hi, guys! You going out with my mom? Okay. Alright. Yeah, it was the last enemy standing, and he had, like, one HP left. It was very, very close. Yo, 
We're gonna beat this tonight. We're gonna go out on a high note. Cal, let's fucking do this. Oh, I thought he was dead. No, these are new guys. This thing seems to be working out for me so far. There we go, BD. Hack up. Final round. Let's fucking go. I am, yes. Nice meeting you. Nice. Pull up his own dude. I'll take it. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. What even was that? I hate to, uh, I hate to give up or anything like that. I'm not giving up, but I'm Let's thinking. Let's stop for a moment. I mean, we already beat Ravis tonight. This, uh, my my reflexes may be wearing down a little bit. I do notice we have some skill points we can spend here, so let's spend those, and I might try one more time. And perhaps it would be best if we sort of gave the the fingers a break and we rested up and tried it again when we're fresh. We'll try, we'll try one more time. Let's increase our maximum force even further. For even more Jedi mind tricks. We're gonna try one more time. One more time. Has his base killed you more than the boss did? Ravis, yeah, 100%. Ravis only killed me six times. Uh, I think we're at like seven or eight tries for this one, which is crazy. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah. Yeah, we need to, uh, I think I've, my, I, my thumbs actually are a little tired, which is funny. I think, uh, rather than just, we're getting really, really close. We're getting literally down to the very last enemy, but it has been a busy night, and I think, uh, I'm getting tired and my reflexes are dull in a little bit, so. Let's, let's call it a night here. We'll get a little bit of rest. I hate calling it a night on a low note, but don't worry, we'll come back better than ever next time. Um, we did defeat Ravis today. We got a boss down. We got a new part for BD. Finished the moon base. Came back to Kobo. And now are working our way to find uh, the final compass that can get us to Talor. Uh, I believe we're getting pretty close to the end of the game now, folks. It kind of is starting to really feel like end game. So I don't know if we will beat it next time, but we have two streams scheduled for next week of Jedi Survivor, and I would imagine after those two streams that we will indeed be done. So let's call it a night here. <laughs> There are the socials. If you're new around here, uh, my regular stream schedule is Tuesday and Thursday evenings. We switched up the schedule a bit this week, so I'm not going to be live on Thursday. We are going to get a weekend stream in, though. I'm planning to stream on Saturday, and we'll probably play some more of our weekend game, which has been Honkai Star Rail the past little bit. I've been having a ton of fun playing that. Um, but if you're looking for more Jedi Survivor, then hopefully I will see you guys back here again next Tuesday, where we are going to kick those Imperials butts and uh, get closer and closer to the end of the game so that's it for me everybody thank you all so much for hanging out i hope you enjoyed your time here even though the end was a little bit frustrating hopefully you still had fun and uh have a great rest of your week hopefully i'll see you on saturday or next week whenever i see you take care everyone have a good night and i'll see you again real soon